This right here, Lucid Model P7. Been talking about it in other videos as of late. This thing is mounted on my 762 by 39 AR Bear Creek Arsenal upper with an Anderson lower with an unbranded AR parts kit. Uh, this uh, particular optic is a 4X. The 4X is kind of the jack of all trades, uh, in my opinion. It is not specialized for close quarters. It's not specialized for long distance, but it'll do both just fine. So all I'm going to talk about is close quarters with a 4X optic, namely this Lucid P7. So obviously the first thing is preparation. If you want to practice with this thing, make sure your mounting is secure. Make sure the optic is mounted on the rifle where you need it to be. Make sure you have a correct, the correct uh, length of pull on the stock so that way you're, you don't have any eye relief issues and just make sure the gun is set up well so that way you won't have any outside issues other than just getting used to using the optic for close quarters. If you have an illuminated reticle, which these do have an illuminated reticle, but if you're watching this and you have something else, uh, if you have an illuminated reticle, make sure it's on. Good thing the Lucid P7, it's kind of intuitive. As I pick up the rifle, all I have to do is press a button like that, and it's on. So the illuminated reticle is really going to help with close quarters type stuff. Basically the same concept as uh, using a red dot kind of applies with the 4X. You're looking at the target and you're not attempting to look down the scope at first. As you look at the target, one thing that's going to really um, help with your success is as you raise the rifle up to target, make sure you have that proper pivot point identified on your shoulder and you have your eye relief figured out with your stock, your stock adjustment. Because what's going to happen as you look at your target and you bring up the rifle, the optic is going to come right to where it needs to be and it's going to be on target every time. It doesn't matter if your target is low or if it's high. It's going to come up and it's going to be right where you need it. That's where it's critical. You make sure you get your stud length of pull figured out, your eye relief figured out uh, before you do anything else. Pivot point. Just like um, red dots and, and iron sights, when you're using a rifle in close quarters, you make sure you have a good pivot point right here. So that way the rifle just pivots up to your shoulder and to your head. You're not moving your head down. You're not uh, contorting your body or anything like that just to get a sight picture. So um, again, the biggest thing as you come up, you have that good eye relief. You have that good pivot point. As your rifle is raised and you get on target, your eye is going to naturally shift focus from looking straight at the target to the reticle. Uh, it happens the same with ACOGs, just the eye relief is a little bit different. That's fine. That's what you want. Along with that, um, remember, you can see you have a height over bore issue, just like with iron sights. If you're using an AR-15, uh, this particular optic, because this is a, a integrated base, you can't really change the height of this base just because of the design. You have that height over bore, so you have to take that into consideration. Uh, within about 20 yards, 25 yards, depending on how you have it uh, uh, zeroed in. So take that into consideration as well. But practice that. If you have one of these, make sure you have a good pivot point on your shoulder or on your chest. Look at an aiming point and then just bring the optic up and you'll see that it's extremely fast. And you can actually get really fast and really precise uh, with close quarters stuff. So all right. Hope you enjoyed the video. And... We enjoyed the setup here. It's kind of an interesting little setup. I like playing around with ARs. They're like Legos to me. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, stay safe.